Hello guys, uh, welcome to Intersex Solutions. Uh, I am Augustine, and if today is the first time you are watching our videos, please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we have a, a ton of video for it concerning these uh, automatic gate systems, security stuff like electric fence and uh, access control system. So please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, and then click on the notification bell so in case we drop a new video. You'll be among the first people to to get notified. Why? Um, today we've uh, we've installed a new automatic gate, sliding gate machine, Centurion D10, and I would like to show you how to program it. I would like to show you the whole installation process, but uh, I would rather cover that one in another video later. But then today I'll show you how to program the, the machine. So sometimes, even if they, you are already using the machine, after a collision and you have not solved the problem, the machine can go back to its default settings. So it will lose the limit settings, which you have to reprogram the limit. So today I want to show you how to set the limit for uh, Centurion D10 sliding gate machine. So let's go. So this is what you've done so far. This is what the installation is looking like. So this is the machine. You've done all the, the wiring. And then uh, over here we are using the i5 safety beam. So that's a receiver close to the machine. And then uh, and this, uh, this is the uh, transmitter. So we have a a wire passing underground through a pipe and then the rack too as well so i'll show you how to do the limit settings in a few moments okay guys so to set your limits there are a few things you need to check on the machine so the first thing you you would like to check will be the you'll be the 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 limit the mechanical end limit so come closer so first of all you you need to make sure that the, the gate has an end stop while closing and also an end stop while opening so so right now have a this is our closing mechanical end stop and then all the way to the other side the gate is quite heavy though you see how soft so, so we also have a, a opening mechanical end stop which is at the top here so the gate will not go over and then maybe four uh four i mean four on the ground so we have our air stop and then the next thing you have to check will be your wirings you have to make sure you, you have done the correct wiring in the manual you could see the various wiring processes and things so you just have to check those ones and make sure you've done the correct wiring and then uh, make sure your 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 gate is rolling very well and then the teeth the the pinion and the rack they are having good contact maybe the you check whether the teeth is not going off the off the pinion while the the gate is rolling so th that, those are the three things you need to check you need to check the mechanical and stop check whether the pinion and the rack are having good contact and they are rolling very well uh, the rack is not going off the pinion and then the number the, number three your wiring make sure you've done the correct wiring so that you don't blow the machine, the charger, or anything, maybe the board. So you make sure you do a correct wiring. Now, to start with the, the programming, you, you push your gate all the way. All the way to the middle. And let me not forget, there's one thing you also need to check, which is the magnet. We have a... Uh, we have an, 
origin marker, which is a magnet that comes with the machine here. So this is the origin marker, and you need to make sure it's clicking with the the sensor, the blue sensor at the tip of the how do I say it of the machine. So you need this one also to be clicking the the sensor. So that will be your 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 origin marker. Seems like I'm talking too much. Yeah. Anyway, so the next process is to push the gate to the middle. it so to engage the machine all you need to do is uh, is raise the lever up and then push the gate small and then you hear that clicking sound it shows that the machine has engaged to the to the gate so you start with the with the program okay so now what i will do now is uh, i have to connect the power supply so this is our uh, ac 240 volt or 220 volt coming from our uh, distribution board you need to plug that one in you see that there will be a red light showing on the charger so this is the charger of the machine and then you also need to plug the battery in my wiring might be a bit uh, uh nasty but you just have to take it for me like that then you plug your battery also in and make sure you know why uh, there's no short circuit in the machine so now that we have a beam you just have to check whether the beam is working by passing your hand in front and you should be making a clicking sound so now the first thing you see after you've powered your your machine up is this interface uh, I don't know whether you guys can see. All right, so you see set compliance, and then this shows ZA, which is uh, South Africa, and then you have other other ones that are, you have CE, uh, UL325, all those ones. But then what you use in Africa, you use the South Africa one, and this is Ghana. So. To proceed with it you press the the lumbar to accept and then to come set up wizard then you do you press the middle bar to continue it will ask you some few questions which is the first one has been has has gear boss been filled with oil which you've done from the beginning of the installation then you press the middle bar to say yes it says uh, note all safety features are disabled you have to know that the sensor might not work while programming so nobody should cross the gate you press the middle bar to accept you say is the system correctly wired as per manual so like i was saying you need to make sure all the wires are done in the correct way so you now press the the middle bar to continue it is asking is origin marker correctly fitted like i was saying the origin marker is a bit deep inside you have to make sure that it's clicking with the sensor so to continue you press the middle bar and then you say is gate moto engaged like i did you make sure the lever is up, up. so next thing to press the middle and go in now you say our end stops fitted like i checked earlier on the mechanical end stop you have to make sure they are solid and they are able to stop the gate so you press the middle bar to say yes. Now it says clear gate area. And then press the this bar, the middle the button, the middle one to con to start. And then after that you see that your gate will start rolling slowly. And then it will look for the end stop by itself. It will go all the way to the end, return, and then now go fast twice. So that's the first one. We wait for the second one to as well.
okay so after going slowly to the first end stop and then to the second end stop the gate has run fast and then it opens and closed <laughs> okay so after running slowly to the end stop checking the end stop it, it goes it went fast twice so it it, it closed and then open again and after that you come to the machine and then when you check your screen you should see a message or a prompt saying uh, is the gate open so in this case our gate is open so we we have to select yes which is already selected but in case your gate is closed you just have to press the down arrow i mean down the arrow button down one to select no so in this our case we will select yes and we press the middle button the bar one then uh, it will tell you the the size of your gate you know some few measurements and then it will ask you to press the middle bar and your setup is complete so you just have to go back by pressing the round button to the main screen so the reason why the machine asks you whether your gate is open or closed is that on the screen whenever the gate is open you should see open whenever the gate is closed you should see closed so that's the reason why there was that prompt of is your gate open so that's all you need to program your d10 your centurion sliding gate operator d10 and the same process applies to uh, d5 and d5 evo d5 smart is way different from this one that one you have to do it on your smartphone so i will just say that's all so our machine is programmed we can run it from there So that's all. We we are done programming the machine. So guys, thank you for watching. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's on Sex Solutions. Make sure to subscribe. We have more videos for you. Thank you.